Uh, Paul Farbrace, I, get, I, 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 I guess another disappointing week in, in terms of the weather, really. Yeah, well, one day. I mean, three days have been excellent. We've done very well. The ground staff did really well to get us going on the first day. Um, you know, the, the outfield was wet, um, and they've had obviously a lot of rain like everywhere else has. So they did brilliantly to get us on, and fantastically well to make such a great pitch that we've had for the, the game. Just disappointing with the game set up that we couldn't finish it off the way both teams would have wanted to have done. But I suppose that's the game in April, isn't it? Um, let's talk about the positives from the game, Paul, because there were lots yet again after the, the draw with Northampton Chill last week. Look, an awful lot. I, I thought we played good cricket last week against Northampton. We tried to force um, a result in that game. We couldn't quite get over the line. And then here, having bowled the opposition out for 3.30, then back beyond them and put ourselves in a position where there was only one winner going into the last day. Um, and that's something we've talked a lot about. We want to be the team that is going into the last day with the chance to win. Certainly, if both teams, that's, that's great for the game. But ideally, we want to be in a position where we're going for a win on the last day. And that's something we've consistently talked about. And both the first two games, we've been in that position. So we're delighted. But, you know, lots of individual... Haynes continuing his good form early season with another 100. Um, I, I thought Simpson getting a double 100 and Lamb, his 100, outstanding for the pair of them. Settling into a, a new club and a new team, I think it's always players want to earn the respect of their fellow teammates and when they do something like that um, that they fully justify and show why that they've, they're good players and they come straight into our team um, I thought Hudson Prentice outstanding with the ball again, continued on from last week, he was excellent last week but I, I think our, our overall team play has been really, really good we even saw you know, Carson with the bat you know, Cameo whacking it for 30 odd um, Carvalho's getting 50 I, I think it shows that we've got depth in our squad, we've got people missing from the team that, um, you know, in terms of seam bowlers, we've got a lot of seamers at the moment, Touchwood, um, at our disposal, and we've got a good squad of players to choose from. And that, when you've got good competition internally, you know, generally that provides you with good results on the pitch because people know they've got to play well to stay in the team. Um, back to the Dukes board next week against Colossus. What are your thoughts on the first two rounds with the, the Kookaburra, Paul? Well, I, I, we've had two good games of cricket. Um, you know, last week against... Um, North Ants at home it was an excellent game of cricket. A lot of overs bowled by the spinners, and the same here. A lot of overs bowled by the spinners. You've got to be skillful to get the ball off the straight with the Kookaburra, um, and that's exactly what uh, the idea of using it. But we haven't changed the ball. The only ball we've changed in this game was one that was hit out of the ground and lost. Other than that, we haven't changed the ball. So we've had two rounds of cricket in April where we haven't changed the ball. We've had two very good games of cricket. Yes, the bat is probably slightly on top against the ball, but we've also had two excellent pitches to play on. So, you know, the, the idea is to experiment and find out about can we use a kookaburra and how much of a difference does it make? But I, I, I've got no complaints in the first two games. I'm still, as I said to you last week, I'm, I'm still not sure that we necessarily need it. And I don't like the fact that every time we lose an Ashes series, we, we change English cricket um, to mirror what goes on in Australia. We should continue to do what we do well. Um, I, I must say, I would imagine that there's an awful lot of bowlers up and down the country are looking forward to getting a juke back in their hands next week. Um, I know some of our bowlers are definitely looking forward to it. Let's talk about bowlers. No Ollie Robinson this week. What likelihood of Ollie playing against Gloucestershire on Friday? Yeah, he was, he's in the squad for the next game and I expect him to play at Hove on Friday. So, uh, you know, as I said, we've got some good bowling resources. Henry Crocombe hasn't featured yet. Ari Cavadas played this game. Sean Hunt hasn't featured yet. So, you know, we've got some good options for Friday and if we need to freshen up, I'm very happy to do so. But, yeah, I expect Oliver to be back and playing on Friday. Final question, Gloucestershire didn't win a game in the Championship last season. A few changes down at Bristol this year. What are, what are your thoughts on Gloucestershire going into that game? Well, uh, uh, you know, was, you can't really worry about what went on last year. You look at them on paper and you look at their bowling attack on paper, they look a very good side. Um, you know, and they've got a new coach, so they'll want to show him that they've got good players there. They've got, a, I think they've got a lot of good players. Um, we played well against them last year in both games. We had a, a, a very good game. We couldn't quite force a result. Um, at Bristol um, early season and then we, we beat them at the end of the season so you know we, look we, 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 we can only focus on what we've got in our team and talk about what we've got you know I don't want to spend too much time um, worrying about opposition teams that they've got a lot of good players I don't think there's any games in this division that aren't going to be tough games there's, you know every team has got you know very good depth you look at the Leicester side here you know we're pleased to have bowled them out for 3.30 because on paper their batting is extremely strong you know we've got someone like Ben Mike coming in down the order you know who's an unbelievably talented all-rounder you know they've got a lot of strength in depth in, in Hansko and Harris they've got two outstanding 
Australian overseas players who will score a lot of runs this year for Leicester, I've got no doubt. Um, and, and they look a very well organised team to me. You know, obviously Chris Wright not playing for them, it, it, I would imagine is a big blow with his experience and his quality of bowling because he was one of the best bowlers in our division last year, hence the reason we tried to sign him. But, you know, hopefully he's back playing soon and enhancing their team. Travascus is an excellent signing for them. He played good cricket throughout the whole game. Um, so like, I, I think there's a lot of good teams in this division. You know, and I'm not just talking up opposition because we're playing them. You know, whoever gets promoted out of this division this year will have to be the best teams and play good cricket all season and not just do it you know, game by game. They'll have to actually play good cricket consistently over the whole season.